After the colonel had finished his pep talk, the order was given, Let's go, troops. Pick up your stuff. Get your shit together. And let's lock and load. We are about to fly into harm's way. Say your prayers and have faith in your God, whoever he may be. Knot after knot was forming in Sailor's stomach, and his thought to himself, doesn't this man have anything good or nice to say? What about something encouraging? But then, why would he? The colonel was over six feet tall and a marine lieutenant colonel whose mind and desire probably wanted to be a soldier in the ancient Roman army or a medieval knight in shining armor. Perhaps he had aspirations of becoming a modern-day war hero. But the bad part about whatever the colonel desired or seen of himself, all his crew and passengers were under his direct authority and were circumstantially compelled to be a part of his dream. Imagine the sound of a very old car engine hesitating to stay on. The engine would backfire, not idle smoothly, but sounding choppy and like it was going to shut down any minute. That's what both helicopter engines sounded like to Sailor. He was not sure. Maybe that's what the performance of those old Vietnam-Korea conflict equipment sounded like. Back in 1983, the armed forces did not have the greatest technology or fighting equipment as it does today. Maybe Sailor was not used to the sound of old stuff. And he nursed and embraced his fear to a level of reality in his own mind. He was in a morbid state of mind soaring in the heavens as a thick blanket of dark menacing clouds shrouded the land and sea. The light drizzle that had begun while they were still on the island of Larnaca had now turned into a storm with dark, dark gray clouds. A storm hatched somewhere in the western Mediterranean and traveled east to wet the Lebanese coast. The horizon of Beirut's gray skyline faded in the clouds as the clouds dumped their rain on the Middle Eastern city. 